Hey, it's Chris with Pearson. This video is going to teach you how to make multiple changes to multiple assignments at one time. So this scenario would be maybe you want the students to have four practices instead of two, or excuse me, four attempts on a practice instead of two, or two attempts on a post-test instead of one. So this is a way that you can make, with, in just a few clicks, make all those changes all at once without having to click a million times. This is for my student success lab, my reading lab, my writing lab, and my skills lab. I'm going to demonstrate today from my skills lab, and I start in the activities assessment manager. So first thing I want to point out to you, in the activities assessment manager, you see this column called category, and category list icons, they are T, H, O, and Q. T stands for test, H for homework, Q for quiz, and O for other. And you see that the MyLab automatically assigns items to particular categories. Now, if you were to create your own item from scratch, you would have to pick which category to put it in as well. But by default, you have these four categories, homework, test, quiz, and other. So when I come up here to the more assignment tools and come to change category, excuse me, change settings for multiple assignments, I get this screen here and it asks me to pick the assignment type. So that's when the, the types come back into play. So we've got homework, quiz, test, other. Now we have a writing activity practice, which is in skills lab and writing lab. Let's say... I want to make changes to all the post assessments in the course. So I would click test and then if I want I can click specific items and specific assignments within the test category. So in the my labs you've got post test and by module and then you also have the path builders, the mastery checks, the skills checks and the pre and post assessments and student success. So let's say I want to do all the post tests. So I could select all and then unselect the ones that I don't want, which might be the fastest way to do this since I have so many post tests. And let's see, I think that's all of them. Oops, I don't want the skills check and so on and so forth. So you see that I select the items that are relevant and then click OK. And then I can go down through the different parameters that are available for those items. So I can change the scoring options. I can allow uh, a password on those items. Here's where I would change the number of attempts. So I'm going to limit the number of attempts of attempts to three on all the post test, changing it from whatever the default is in your MyLab. I can allow incomplete attempts. I can change time limits. I can maybe remove the learning aids. Maybe you want your, for example, maybe you want your practice items to be more rigorous, and you could remove all the learning aids on the practice items, for example. And then um, I can change the results and so on and so forth. So once I have picked all the parameters, I just click apply to settings. And now those changes have been applied to every item that I have selected within that category or the entire category. If you have a question, always come up here to the right of the legend in the printer is the question mark. Click the question mark, read our award winning help. Go into the training kit, watch more videos or ask your rep. Thank you, thank you so much for using Pearson products.